Welcome to BK Academy of Chess. The dragon variation is one of the main lines of the Sicilian defense, and begins with the moves, e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, g6. In the dragon, black Fian Kedis his bishop on e h8, a1 diagonal. The Yugoslav attack is considered to be the main line that gives maximum chances for both sides. It continues, bishop e3, bishop g7, e3. The point of white's last move is to safeguard e4, and to stop black from playing knight g4, harassing white's dark squared bishop. Note that black cannot play bishop e3, knight g4, immediately because of bishop b5, winning a piece, since after the forced bishop d7, white can take the g4 knight with queen takes g4, due to the pin on the d7 bishop. After, bishop e3, Bishop g7, e3, castle, queen d2, knight c6, there are fundamentally two distinct branches with 9. Castle queen side, leading to more positional play while 9. Bishop c4, leads to highly tactical double-edged positions. The Yugoslav attack exemplifies the spirit of the dragon with race to mate pawn storms on opposite sides of the board. White tries to break open the black king side and deliver mate down the h-file, while black seeks counterplay on the queen side with sacrificial attacks. Typical white strategies are exchanging dark squared bishops by bishop e3 to h6, sacrificing material to open the h-file, and exploiting pressure on the a2, g8 diagonal on the weakness of the d5 square. Black will typically counterattack on the queen side, using his queen side pawns, rooks, and dark squared bishop. He sometimes plays h5, the Soltis variation, to defend against white's kingside attack. Other typical themes for black are exchanging white slight square bishop with knight c6, knight e5, knight c4, pressure on the c-file, sacrificing the exchange on c3, advancing the b-pawn and pressure on the long diagonal. Black will generally omit a6, because white will generally win a straight pawn attack, because black has given white a hook on g6, to attack. Generally, white will avoid moving the pawns on a2, b2, and c2, and so black's pawn storm will nearly always be slower than white's on the king side. Black can frequently obtain an acceptable endgame even after sacrificing the exchange because of white's h pawn sacrifice and doubled pawns. White can play the Yugoslav attack with castle queen side. After years of believing white's best play and chance for advantage lay in the main line with bishop c4, this older main line made a major comeback. White omits bishop c4, in order to speed up the attack. It used to be thought that allowing d5. Here allows black to equalize easily but further analysis and play have proved that things are not so clear-cut. In fact, recently black experienced a time of difficulty in the d5 line facing a brilliant idea by Ivanchuk which seemed to give white the advantage. Some black players began experimenting with bishop d7, and knight takes d4. Fortunately for black, the d5 line has been doing better in practice. A brilliancy was found for white one day is soon enough overturned by some new resource for black. A case in point is the following line where the evaluation of a major line was turned upside down overnight because of an ingenious queen sacrifice played by Grandmaster Mikhail Golubev, an expert on the dragon variation. King b1, knight takes d4, e5, knight f5, e takes f6, bishop takes f6, knight takes d5, queen takes d5, queen takes d5, Knight takes e3, queen d3, knight takes d1, queen takes d1, bishop e6, where black has sufficient compensation for the queen. The Yugoslav attack with bishop c4, sets out to prevent black from playing the freeing move d5. The variations resulting from this move are notorious for having been heavily analyzed. In addition to covering d5, white's light squared bishop helps cover white's queen side and controls the a2, g8 diagonal leading to black's king. However, the bishop is exposed on c4, to an attack by a rook on c8, and usually has to retreat to b3, giving black more time to organize his attack. Common in this line is an exchange sacrifice on c3, by black to break up white's queen side pawns, and sacrifices to open up the long diagonal for black's bishop on g7 are also common. An example of both ideas is the line bishop d7, castle queen side, rook c8, bishop b3. Knight e5, h4, knight c4, bishop takes c4, rook takes c4, h5, 
knight takes h5, g4, knight f6, bishop h6, knight takes e4, queen e3, rook takes c3. The Soltis variation was main line of the dragon up until the late 1990s. Gary Kasparov played the move three times in the 1995 World Championship against Viswanathan Anand, scoring two wins and a draw. The line goes bishop c4, bishop d7, castle queenside, rook c8, bishop b3, knight e5, h4, h5. The key move, holding up white's kingside pawn advance. After castle queenside, other important deviations for black are queen a5, also after castle queenside, rook c8, bishop b3, knight e5, h4, black also can draw knight c4. More recently, after knight e5, white players have often avoided the soltis by playing king b1, which has proven so effective that black players have in turn tried to dodge with after castle queenside, with the move rook b8, known as the Chinese dragon. The classical variation, bishop e2, is the oldest response to the dragon variation. It is the second most common response to the dragon behind the Yugoslav attack. After bishop g7, white has two main continuations. After bishop e3, knight c6, castle, castle, white's two main responses are knight b3, and queen d2. The knight move is a very common one in the classical variation and queen d2 is well met with d5. After castle, white has a choice of e3, and g5, for his bishop. If he places it on e3, the game will usually transpose into the lines previously discussed. In his book Starting Out, The Sicilian Dragon, Andrew Martin calls bishop e3, the traditional way of handling the variation, and describes bishop g5, as being, much more dangerous, and, white's best chance to play for a win in the classical dragon. As with bishop e3, after bishop g5, white will normally place his knight on b3, avoiding an exchange on d4. The Levenfish variation, e4, is named after Russian grandmaster Gregory Levenfish, who recommended it in the 1937 Russian chessier book. It is not currently very common in the highest levels in chess. White prepares 7. e5, attacking black's f6 knight therefore in the pre-computer era 6. Knight c6, or knight b. D7 were considered mandatory to meet the Levenfish variation. However it transpired that after bishop g7, e5, knight h5, bishop b5, bishop d7, e6, if takes e6, knight takes e6, bishop takes c3, b takes c3, queen c8, black might be even better. After bishop e3, bishop g7, bishop e2, castle, queen d2, grandmaster John Ems wrote that, Although it's difficult to beat the Yugoslav in terms of sharp, aggressive play, this line also contains a fair amount of venom. White's plans include queenside castling and a kingside attack. And there's a major plus point in that it's much, much less theoretical. After the main moves knight c6, castle queenside, we reach a tabia for the position. Here black has tested several options and here they are listed in order of popularity. Knight takes d4, bishop d7, knight g4 d5, and a6. Knight takes d4, can lead to both positional and attacking chances for both sides. White must keep aware that black may have opportunities to offer an exchange sacrifice on c3, in order to exploit the unprotected e4 pawn. Bishop takes d4, bishop e6, king b1, a good preparatory move in many lines of the Sicilian dragon. White wants to be able to play knight d5, if the situation becomes conducive. White's king is also getting away from the open c-file which is where much of black's counterplay can develop. With queen a5, we reach a position where chances are roughly balanced and play can take on a life of its own. With bishop d7, black is allowed to keep all his pieces on the board to mount an attack. h4, h5, black needs to keep white's pawns from making a breaking capture. e3, rook c8, king b1, Knight e5, bishop g5 black can now go for broke with b5, with an interesting position to contest with over the board. The move knight g4, is played to pick up the bishop pair by exploiting the absence of f3, in white's opening. White is usually fine with allowing the trade of bishop for a knight considering that his light square bishop does little in this line in comparison with the f6 knight's defensive abilities and white also will gain the use of f3, to drive black back after he recaptures with his bishop. Bishop takes g4, bishop takes g4, e3, bishop d7, king b1, 
knight e5, b3, rook c8, h4, rook e8, again, both sides have good chances. The move d5, is a pawn sacrifice similar to lines in the more common Yugoslav main lines. e takes d5, knight takes d5, knight takes c6, b takes c6, knight takes d5, c takes d5, queen takes d5, queen c7, giving up two rooks for the queen but keeping attacking chances. Queen takes a8, bishop f5, queen takes f8, king takes f8, bishop b3, bishop e6, king b1. Another line to consider comes from the match J. Van der Will vs. H.I. Dam, Gran Canaria 1996, it runs a5, king b1, knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, b5, h4, h5, e3, bishop e6, and g4. Other options after bishop e3, include 6. Bishop c4, e3, and g3. When black adopts the dragon formation without d6, white must watch out for d5, which often immediately equalizes. Lines where black does this include the accelerated dragon with e4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, g6, and the hyper-accelerated dragon with e4, c5, knight f3, g6, Another option for black is to use play what has been called the Dragon Dwarf, which combines ideas from the dragon with those of the Nidorf variation. While this line may be played via the dragon move order with the Yugoslav attack with bishop c4, black can arrive at it with a Nidorf move order, e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, a6, bishop e3, g6, or after knight c3, with g6, bishop e3, a6, with the idea of bishop g7, and knight b, d7. Such a move order would be used to try to avoid a Yugoslav type attack, for instance, after e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, a6, white could play bishop e2, or f4. In both cases, especially the latter, a Yugoslav-style attack loses some momentum. Usually the bishop is more ideally placed on c4, where it can pressure f7, and help defend the white king, though the castle queenside variation of the dragon shows that this is not completely necessary, and if white plays f4, and then castles queenside, he must always be on guard for knight g4, ideas, something which the move f3, in traditional dragon positions usually discourages. Nonetheless, a Yugoslav-style attack is still playable after both, bishop e2, g6, or f4, g6. And there have it, the dragon variation of the Sicilian defense. Thanks for tuning into BK Academy of Chess, where together we build, and over the board we even the score.